have some very special guests here at Camp David. And so I got up early this morning and we are serving these for breakfast. But let me tell you who our special guests are. This is Olivia. Olivia, can you say hi? Say hi, just wave. These are very, very good friends of ours from Illinois. They were like our hangout people all the time and we loved spending time with them. So they came to spend some time with us here in Colorado. And so I'm really excited. So we're gonna give her this and see what she says. Who's that? I don't know. It's Olaf. Who is it? Is that Olaf? Yeah. You just ate Olaf. See, is this Olaf? Look, here's his feet. And there's his smile and his hair fell off. But see? And his arms. Does he taste like snow? Um, no. He tastes like waffle? Yeah. Okay. He tastes like summer. Mm. Sunday, driving to church. Daddy's already there because he's doing worship this morning. He's on the worship team this morning. So we are headed to church. 
the three of us are gonna meet him there. And what had happened again, guys? It snowed. It's still snowing, huh? Got two handsome kids in the back. Thank you. Thank Anything you. you wanna say? I love snow. Colorado snow. from church actually trying to get lunch done before Luke gets home from doing worship at second service handy dandy helper here and today we're going to have the butternut squash soup that's actually on our Thanksgiving menu um, this became tradition of ours to have at Thanksgiving probably about five or six years ago I would say um, my sister-in-law shared the recipe with me she had gotten it online somewhere and she shared the recipe with me and ever since then it became a tradition at Thanksgiving but we also make it all winter long I love to make this uh, for friends it's a really good recipe so we're gonna get some soup going really quick Kenya's gonna whip up some sandwiches and she's gonna learn how to make the soup too once you get everything in the pot and going together you mix it all together and it's just really yummy warm goodness perfect for a day like today i've cubed some butternut squash we're going to add about two containers of the chicken broth and some diced onions and then this is what makes it worth the while the cream cheese so after we let this simmer a while we go ahead and um, add the cream cheese and then we puree it and it makes a beautiful soup and it's so amazing Monday morning and guess what it's still snowing it's been snowing all night Zoe says let me in it's cold we still have snow and it's still snowing and I think actually today we're gonna have to clear off the driveway we have actually a really big week ahead of us um, it was a pretty good weekend trying to get stuff done and I did my uh, planning for Thanksgiving but also today, 
Kenya has more auditions. Um, I know if you watch one of our Disney videos, it's the last day on our Disney cruise trip. We announced that Kenya's theater company um, is going to Atlanta um, in January, and they are competing in the Junior Youth Theater Festival, I think it's what it's called, and that's in Atlanta in January. And so her theater company is taking a team, and they did auditions for the show that they're doing at that competition, which is Mary Poppins, and she got cast as Mary Poppins. Well, today, with her theater company, she has more auditions, and their auditions are for the show they're actually doing here in Colorado in the spring, and that is Little Mermaid. But big day today. She's rehearsing her lines for her auditions, and hopefully we'll, we'll know by late tonight what she gets cast as. Days I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. Those poor unfortunate 